Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google Chrome version 134 has arrived, which is now our latest release. And version 134 is what I would consider to be a light release, with most of the tweaks and adjustments taking place under the hood. Now to double check, we have the latest version. We head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. And after the update has been applied, version and bold is sitting on 134.0.6998.35 or 36 if you are running Windows or Linux. And if you are running Mac, that point release will either be 44 or 45. But either or means if you're on 134, you will be fully patched and up to date. Now just to focus quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out, and these will also be our weekly security fixes and there are 14 in total and that's um, quite on the up compared to previous weeks and there's only one high severity flaw that's been addressed um, out of the 14 so the rest are just mediums and lows and your high severity flaw that's been addressed is out of bounds read in the v8 which is the v8 javascript engine so 14 security fixes rolling out, no critical vulnerabilities and no zero days exploited in the wild, which is um, always good news. Now focusing on what's new and just to mention uh, one or two um, for the purpose of this video, they've improved the protection against unwanted screen recording in the browser. So that's a bit of an under the hood tweak and adjustment. So if you are using streaming apps like um, Meet and Zoom, just to mention two examples, they've improved their protection against unwanted screen recording. And the Chrome platform status also says that they've strengthened security around the browser extensions. So what I think they mean by that is if we just head into our manage extensions in the browser, as we have been talking about on the channel, Google is phasing out Manifest V2 extensions in favor of Manifest V3 extensions, which according to Google, have better security. So I think that's obviously what they are referring to. And while we are talking about extensions, I have noticed though that um, there are no prompts, new prompts disabling or informing me that uBlock Origin will soon be unsupported or will be removed. I haven't seen any of um, those changes with version 134. So it seems now that for now that uBlock Origin and those MV2 extensions will at least in my part of the world are safe. But as I've been talking about, we've been getting a couple of extra um, prompts um, telling us that MV2 and like uBlock Origin are going to be um, turned off soon or unsupported. So. Watching that space and obviously as I get that info, I'll let you guys know. And then something else to take note of is they've also mentioned that there is enhanced picture in picture mode, which is hidden behind an experimental flag. So if we just head into our experimental flags page by going to chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, these are the two flags that need to be enabled. Auto picture in picture for video playback and auto picture in picture video heuristics. Now, I have enabled these two flags and I'm still not seeing the auto picture in picture, the enhanced picture in picture mode. So maybe you'll have better luck than me. And just to give you an idea what I'm talking about, um, this feature has already been enabled in Firefox. So what happens with auto picture in picture, which I think is a nice move if you are using the PIP window a lot while watching your videos, you'll see that with f f and in Firefox, as soon as I go out of the tab that's playing or the page that's playing the video, it enables auto picture in picture. And then if I head into the main window playing the video, it carries on playing in the actual main video of the window. And if I head out, you get the idea, it goes into the PIP window. So that's what, that's what that is all about uh, in Mozilla Firefox. So that's still hidden behind experimental flags in the stable version with 134. But um, nonetheless, um, maybe you'll have better luck than me. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And something else just to mention for the purpose of this video. As mentioned, most of the tweaks and adjustments are taking place under the hood. Um, there's actually no front-facing new features that I'm aware of that this update has brought. 
But if we head back into our settings, they have removed the AR innovations or the experimental AR section from the left-hand navigation for settings. So just to give you an exa um, example of what I'm talking about, if we head over to Canary, which is an early preview version, using a controlled rollout with version 1.3.3, Google started adding experimental AR, also known as AR innovations, um, using a controlled rollout, which included the um, history search powered by AR. Now, I have noticed on both my devices with the stable version after updating that this has been removed, as you can see. So it seems that Google cannot make up its mind at this stage what they really want to do with that AR feature in the stable version. Maybe they were just A-B testing it because it was rolling out controlled, but it has been pulled. I haven't seen it on any of, me of my stable um, versions of Google Chrome after applying this latest 134 upgrade. So guys, that's give or take what I can um, suggest is new with the latest version 134, 6998, 3536 or 4445 of the Google Chrome web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.